Now in this question, there are two principles. The first principle states that a consensual relationship created by contract or by law where one party, the principal, grants authority to another party, the agent, to act on behalf of and under the control of the principal to deal with the third party. So, a, a principal agent relationship is mentioned in the first principle. Second principle states that the agent must purport to act as the agent for a named or identifiable principle. Now, the facts say that Madhu was the agent of Meena. So, Meena was the principal and Madhu was the agent. Madhu being a wheat merchant was authorized to buy wheat at a certain price on a joint account for herself and Meena. So now these two had a joint account. One day she purchased wheat at a higher, a higher price from Mithu. Now Madhu uh, purchased the agent who is the agent? She purchased the rice at a higher price from Mithu. But in her own name, so exclusively in her name, she bought the rice. Meena, when told about the purchase by Madhu, gave her assent to the transaction. She later failed to take the delivery of the wheat. Now, Mitu brought an action against Madhu and Meena for breach of contract. So, because she could not take the delivery on time, Mitu files, uh, brings an action against both these parties for the breach of contract. Now, as per principle 2, we can clearly see that the agent must purport to act as agent for a named or identifiable principle. Over here, Meena was not named. She was not named in the contract. Madhu bought the wheat at in her own name. She did not name the principal at all. Therefore, the principal would not come into picture over here. So, if we look at the four options, option A says that Madhu is liable to fulfill her part as it was she and not Meena who entered into the contract of purchase. Over here, because Madhu entered the uh, because Madhu entered the contract in her own name, therefore, option A cannot be the correct answer. Option B says Madhu and Meena, being the agent and principal, are liable to take delivery from Mithu. And since Madhu has the authority to buy wheat on Meena's behalf. Meena cannot deny to take delivery of wheat from Mitu. But as per the principle, she was not the identifiable uh, principle in the facts. Option C says only Madhu is responsible because she breached the contract with Meena by buying the wheat at a higher price than authorized by Meena. So this is not the reason. The reason was that she has bought it on her own name. But option D says... That since Madhu had contracted in her own name without mentioning to Mithu that Meena was the principal, Meena had no liability to take the delivery of the goods. So this is exactly the reason why Meena would not be responsible. Hence option D would be the correct answer.